Why, hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Playframe. We have a special guest again. I'm special? Yes, and a guest. You're both things at the same time. Oh Welcome my gosh. and say hi everyone to Soraya. She's back. Hello everyone. I'm very excited to be back for the next installment in our Every Greek Game Gets Soraya Very Excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually kind of funny. So the last time we had you on was for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We did a, several mm -hmm. episodes of that. I will link up to that in the corner now. Um, it's weirdly, and we didn't really plan for this, this game is made by the same studio, directed by the same person, it's in the same engine, and it's also <laughs> in the same setting, except mythological, well, more mythological now. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I knew it was another uh, Ubisoft game, but I didn't realize that it was, had those those similarities, like, to that degree. <laughs> yep, Ubisoft Quebec made both. Uh, like, basically, as soon as they were done with, uh, as soon as they were done with Odyssey, they moved right onto this. So. Well, listen, Ubisoft Quebec, like, I've got a, I've got a day job and all, but I'm just saying, if you, if you want a little extra historian on the side, <laughs> I would love. <laughs> I actually do have a friend who worked as uh, one of the writers on this game, so. Whoa, this UI. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the Ubisoftest I was, UI ever. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> Although I will say real fast, like they've released several DLC packs and I think they have like one more that's coming. Mm -hmm. They've really gone wild with the different, like so one of them is the same sort of game, but set in like Chinese mythology, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other that they've just announced or just came out with, I'm not sure, turns it into like a top down brawler sort of game that looks more like Diablo or something. Okay. A different, like they're really doing wild different stuff with their DLC, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I really need to get into that. See, I played the game when it came out and I did 100% it because that is a, a sick addiction of mine. <laughs> um, but I haven't gone back since any of the DLC stuff started coming out, and I keep hearing great things about it. So let this let this kind of tantalize me and lure me back in. I'm down for that. <laughs> it might work. I I'm glad you're here because I know almost as little about Greek mythology as I do about Greek history. So, and you know, <laughs> you know more than I do. So I'm glad to hear to like for you to be able to share some knowledge as we go. Yes, I'm very excited. Uh, new game. Here we go. Uh, normal's fine. What's the worst that could happen? You'll get your ass kicked. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I like that they're breaking <laughs> down also. Like, I'm really enjoying not only that you can change difficulty mid-game as standard in most games now, but also like that they're getting way more descriptive with what like difficulty actually changes up front. Yeah, isn't that I think nice? Yubi has done a lot of really great work in terms of accessibility, like throughout their games, their accessibility menus are some of the best that I have seen. And, you know, like, here, so here's the risk about talking to me about Ubisoft games right now, is that I have a lot <laughs> of friends who currently work or have worked for Ubisoft, including one who works as an accessibility consultant, who is one of the most rad human beings you'll ever meet. And I just, the work that they are doing on kind of a structural level for the way that they're putting games together and the way that they're thinking about accessibility, I think is honestly industry leading at this point. And I'm super happy about all of it. I agree. Yeah. Like it, it seems like a lot of it is built on the bones of uh, Odyssey that came before and probably Origins and others that came before that. But like, I, I assume because they are so many of Ubisoft's games are made in this, their same Anvil engine that they that a lot of this stuff that they've built, these investments can just be kind of ported forwarded to mm -hmm. some degree. Yeah. And that's like, that's really awesome. Yeah. And here we go. Beautiful Hera, Mother Divine, wisest Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Celus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce him in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain that pains, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. Help me! Someone help! Someone! None of this is your fault. You're the victim. All the mortals are made in the bone works of a fool. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. 
this squabble. Burn with Chelsea. Cheat, fight and murder. They're cruel, vindictive and selfish. And let the heel of Achilles. These witnesses will be far undoing. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded coxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans. Convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake! Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no! Not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a froth. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. I really enjoyed the tone of this. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a Wait, skirmish. Wait, don't tell me. And character creation. Okay. Heck yeah. We this, need to make a character real quick. Conceptually, the way they've built this character creation is so delightful. Isn't it? Just choose your body. Uh, changing body type reverts the character to a fault state. Okay. Uh, never mind. This body type's fine. Uh, change skin tone. You can... Face like... <laughs> See, this is the part. A face I can see in my mind. You know, <laughs> an ooh face. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't always land, but the, the idea of them telling the story uh, as... Like <laughs> as you're building a character and describing the character through the options you pick is really clever, I think. Yeah, like, I enjoy that a lot. The, spoiler, those two are going to basically be your narrators throughout mm -hmm. the entire experience, and it's a very fun... Like I was saying, I like the tone of this a lot. It's much more, like, 
family friendly and like young oriented than most Assassin's Creed stuff with mm -hmm. a little bit more comedy to it and I quite like it. Yeah, so uh, I need to watch my language even more than last time? <laughs> <laughs> Only slightly more. <laughs> uh, let's see, you got any preference for hair color or style? I'd say this is all up to you, but to I, me, already, huh? I already built my phoenix. Fair point. Hmm. Tough decisions. Do uh, I'm kind of torn between the red or the darker hair. What do you What do you think? I think the the darker hair. I think it looks cool. I think I agree. Yeah, let's go with that. And yeah, sure, we'll go with the shorter style. Why not? Uh, can set your voice. The storm, wake up! I have to wake up. The storm, wake up! I have to wake up. Uh. Independently of body type, which is also nice. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, I do love me a character creator that separates uh, binary notions of gender. I mean, it kind of plays to it, but at least it's not locked. Yeah, and I appreciate that that's becoming more common. Mm -hmm. Scar has a bit of character. Hell yeah. Uh, Scar's FT dub. <laughs> uh, oh, this looks great. Okay. I want to see game. <laughs> <laughs> there, I see her clear as day. <clears throat> <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Luca goes, Captain. Can anyone hear me? Looks like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. Oh, there's <laughs> eggs. There's <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Welcome to playing a game fairly <laughs> fairly well post release when yep. the new content starts dropping. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who have not played this or seen anything of it. It's basically, imagine the exact midpoint between a standard Assassin's Creed experience and Breath of the Wild. Yeah. This is exactly that. Mm -hmm. uh, right right down to the style to some degree. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's cartoonish, but not quite as, it's not quite Breath of the Wild cartoonish. Not quite, but yeah, it's definitely a more stylized look than uh, mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed will usually do. Phoenix saw her captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, she could almost see them waving and calling to her. Phoenix, again. You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just zealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Local ghost, local ghost, can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Legiron, where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. And since we were just doing character creation, there is a nice feature in this one as well My where... Sword. Oh no, not your sword! No. <laughs> where uh, you will eventually be able to change your character's appearance at will. Oh nice! Yeah. I appreciate a, that. A feature I never used except once to get the trophy. <laughs> because my phoenix was perfect and required no alteration. <laughs> Got it right the first time. Got it right. My phoenix, my shepherd, they're all... Canon for everyone, always, everywhere. Yeah, they spring fully formed and perfect. Exactly.
That is a pretty dope sword. That's a really good looking sword. Mm-hmm. Oof. Awkward. Lagiron! Brother! You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. So I will clarify, because mm -hmm. this confused me. That's not her brother's corpse or anything. No, I, I, <laughs> if there's one complaint I have, I think the direction a lot of, of a lot of these scenes could be improved somewhat, Phoenix Thera. Never been allowed yeah. to hold the hallowed sword, a gift from Achilles for bravery and battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been good in battle. Is something wrong with your Because Achilles is gay, y'all. a sword. <laughs> Just say. Phoenix looked up. She was not alone. By the gods! Stay back! She readied her sword. For her first real fight. See what a cute idea this is. Yeah. A little narration like this. Yeah, I, I really like it. it. It adds a whole lot of character to it. Uh, mm -hmm. In a good way. I love for more games to do it. Felt her training come into focus. I could see it like it's the sort of thing that I guess I can see why more games don't do it, both from the complexity and also because, like, if you get it wrong, it's so easy to drift into annoying. Yeah, and I know that there I are folks who complained about it in this game who do there. find it annoying, which, like, I, that's fair. You find what you find. Sure. Uh, and any method like this is probably going to need some refining, but it is a clever idea, and I'm glad that they tried something with this it. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone, this young hero was determined to save her fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No, this is important for the sense of atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to um, join you for your playthrough of Hades, but that's another one where I feel like... I mean, there, there is, of course, like this tradition in... Greek everything of epic tales, epic poetry, you know, things like that. And one of the things that I really appreciated about uh, Hades and the way that they approached it, uh, they kept doing this thing where you'll, you'll hear characters described through, um, well, so I'm going to talk over you, Phoenix. Go for it. Um, <laughs> Everyone's so chatty. Yeah. Um, but uh, everyone gets described in terms of attributes that they have. So like the fire-footed prince or various things like that. Um, and it's a really, it's actually a really great callback to the way that uh, Homeric poems work. Yeah. Uh, Homeric poems are extremely driven by like the syllables of the poems you have to have just the right amount of syllables per, per line they have to have the right accents and emphasis etc and so one of the the things that was very common within them uh was that homer i'm going to who i am going to treat as a singular person and if there are any really nerdy historians in the audience <laughs> It's fine if you feel differently about it. <laughs> it's just convenient right now. Just heading them off right there. Can <laughs> you write? Can you write off at the path? Um, I think you can maybe climb rock. I believe so. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very that. Breath of the Wild rules. Climb anything. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah. So you had to uh, basically make sure that all of the lines had had certain rhythmic patterns to them. And one of the easy ways to do that is you can also kind of buy time and space by having these repeating lines like brave Achilles or quick-witted Odysseus or things like that and that is something that they brought into Hades which I thought was really fun yeah that's a good little bit of like I didn't realize that was the source of it mm -hmm. but it gave it some distinct flavor to the uh the narration a lot of the time yeah also uh they they do have a very small but very cute implication in Hades that Homer is, in fact, your narrator. Phoenix got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please, she can't use it anyway. Yet. Dun, dun, dun. 
Yeah, but boy, between Hades and this, like 2020 is a really good year for Greek mythology it's and games. It's great for me. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Oh my gosh. There were so many times, I love you dearly, Daniel, but there were so many times when I wanted to just like tell you the stories of the mythology that you were not. <laughs> <laughs> I was missing <laughs> all of, of it. <laughs> Still had fun though. Yeah, that's what's ma what's important Phoenix's at the end of the day. Yeah. Was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if she fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo! If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? They aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. All right, so let's see. Far sight. Yeah. Pay attention to the feedback received while looking for various types of uh, locations. Press right trigger to reveal their uh, icons permanently in far sight. So. Yeah. So you see how it gets kind of yeah. There yeah. You go, lit up All there right. So we're stuff. gonna use this to scout out the surrounding area and. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, as a very much overachiever who had to find everything, there are parts <laughs> of this system that I <laughs> wish worked a little smoother. But in broad concept, I like the idea. <laughs> I feel like I could be up here doing this for a while. Exactly. Uh, you can be, but let's <laughs> let's not exactly. Let's just kind of do a good turnaround. I, I kind of agree. Whoa. Ta-da! Yay! Feel the section of the map. Woo! All right. How to get down? The pond. Classic Assassin's Creed. Very much, yeah. Honestly, this feels more like... This feels very much like they're trying to take the engine and everything they built for Odyssey and making a Breath of the Wild type game in it, but you can still feel a lot of that, uh, the uh, design DNA of mm -hmm. <laughs> Assassin's Creed in it. In a fun way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's but, more character to it too. Like that's, yeah, I love that. None of the, none of the graceful swan dive. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I enjoy that a lot. And I also enjoy how, because they're going a little bit more family Phoenix friendly with this. Giron's blade with every step. Its weight a reminder of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. It's I meant he's to gay. ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Because he's oh, gay. Uh, as an offering, just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see there's there's a little bit mix of like it it's pieces are, are a little little overdone. Um I'm not aware of any Unlike particular flesh, which had been uh, into stories marble, of Zeus and Achilles being into each other. But Zeus was very, very into Achilles' mom. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? Oh, damn. I, I stepped on what might have been a very good dirty joke. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Quite all right. <laughs> oh, hey, do you remember these from uh, Odyssey? These are the Herm statues. Oh, yeah, it's the Herms. Yeah. Still still lacking main f their main feature, I yeah, suppose. But alas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they're not going to do it in Odyssey, they're definitely not going to do it in this. That's Yeah, <laughs> that's true. If you want to know what we're talking about, go watch the Odyssey playthrough, because we yeah. focus a lot on the Herms, really. We do. I was, <laughs> I was like, uh, basically leaving a whole lot of uh, hints in that one that were like, hey, you know, maybe we could do more of this. Maybe we could film more of this series. But uh, then COVID happened, so we weren't exactly able to do more of that, yeah. were we? <laughs> also, and like, and it's, it's not entirely down to that. I also... Prometheus, stop with the mortal pity party and get to the action part. Fine. Now that's more like it. <laughs> that's cute. Uh, also, the fact that like I, we're like we were wanting to, if we continued playing, we were wanting to get further in so we could see like uh, Athens, was it? Oh yeah. 
yeah, I think I had a whole bunch of stories lined up for that. Yeah, the problem is I tried playing more and just got really frustrated with the game and stopped. You know, I liked Odyssey a lot, but fair. <laughs> it's, yeah, just the current design incarnation of, of like where Assassin's Creed is right now just like unfortunately grates on me a good bit. Yeah. I like this I like which is part of why I enjoy this a good bit more because the uh the Breath of the Wild DNA really like uh lightens it up. Yeah, like it, it brings a lot more out of it that I enjoy. Yeah. Well, I mean it's it's fine. I had some I had some cool stories when we reached Athens, but uh maybe some other game will give me the excuse one day. And the only one that I'm really sad I didn't get to was the story of Bopides. Ooh. <laughs> Are you setting you're setting me up for a joke, aren't you? Mm-hmm. 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 who? Both of these nuts, there, I didn't boy! Want to, <laughs> I didn't want to deprive you. <laughs> You've done so much good setup. Thank you. <laughs> How dare you see it coming? <laughs> I saw it right there, but it was like such a lovingly laid little, <laughs> little like tripwire on the ground. It's like, oh, like I feel bad not stepping on this. <laughs> Can you hear me in there? I accept your pity. <laughs> I know you too well, is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to her. Looks like the axe of Atalanta must be a copy. Although. But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. Who knocks upon my door? No one? You think that old trick will work on me? Come into my parlor, send the Cyclops to the sailor. What's Atalanta? <laughs> uh, Atalanta was a mortal heroine. You can just jump on in oh, okay. there. Uh, knowing, knowing what's ahead, I'll well, have no trouble talking at you while you solve puzzles. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I forgot they did this. Now, let's settle up. Time for very you cute. to help me against the torture Hyper. innovator. Bumbling <laughs> storyteller of Pyromania. <laughs> Eagle feeder. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> fake news expert. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> um, yeah, Adal Atalanta was this uh, mortal uh, heroine. Yeah. She was a very, very famous huntress. Ooh. So initially, her, her dad did uh, expose. This is going to. I'm trying to figure out what word to use instead of expose, because expose means something very different in a modern context. Uh, her dad wanted a son, and so left her, when she was born a girl, he left her on a mountain to die. Because people suck, but people especially suck in mythology stories. I've heard that. Yeah. So he left her on this mountain to die, and she didn't. Instead, she grew up to be this really amazing huntress, uh, beloved of art. Artemis, etc., no. etc. Et uh, she. There are some stories where she even joined Jason and the Argonauts on their trip for the Golden Fleece. Um, there. Oh, that actually brings me to a thing that I want to. Another place where I want to head off. I don't even think I'm going to be heading off historians in the comments. I think I'm going to be heading off. Uh, myth nerds. Myth nerds in the <laughs> comments. There is no real canon for Greek mythology. There are stories that contradict each other all the time like <laughs> this is we're talking about a tradition here that got passed down through you know many 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 variations many centuries etc so you will often have stories that will you know directly contradict each other about who is whose parent and who did what and yada yada and so in terms of that let's not look for accuracy let's just look for the fun stories <laughs> that's my vote that seems worthwhile <laughs> yeah so uh in in the fun story that i choose to to treat as uh i you know what i don't even want to say canon in the fun story that i choose to include uh in this telling of it um she did she did join um uh, Jason and the Argonauts on their trip. She also like hunted a famous boar and then at the more or less conclusion of her tale is a story uh, about how she does eventually get married 
Um, like her, her father is like, oh my God, you actually turned out to be pretty great. So sorry about that whole leaving you on a mountain to die thing. Come be my daughter again. And also get married. Uh, and for whatever reason, <laughs> this ends up kind of happening. But what she decides is that uh, she will challenge any man who wants to marry her to a foot race. And if you lose the race to her, um, then you die, basically. Hmm. <laughs> Which, High stakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of an, a deterrent. But um, one particular fellow goes and begs Aphrodite for aid, and he and she gives him like three golden apples. And so he's racing Atalanta. She's faster than him, but every time she gets in front of him, he throws these apples. And because mythology is what it is, she goes, "Ooh, apple!" and goes to chase him. <laughs> 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 and so she gets drawn off course and he eventually wins. Again, for the myth nerds who know an alternate version of the tale, I'm not going to tell that version on Playframe. Uh, <laughs> but that, that'll do. Uh, so she ends up marrying this guy and uh, for various other reasons, um, then ends up offending Zeus. Uh, I think the most common version of that one is that the guy who got the her husband, who got these golden apples from Aphrodite, then failed to say, hey, thanks, Aphrodite. Uh, and she got mad. So she made the both of them impossibly horny. <laughs> so they wound up having sex in a temple uh, devoted to Zeus. And Zeus was like, what? Not in my, not in my house. <laughs> so he turned them both into lions, which <laughs> the Greeks thought was really quite a powerful own because they believed that male and female lions couldn't mate with each other. Huh. Yeah, they thought that lions had to breed with leopards or something. I can't remember what the other species was. Just but... hadn't spent a lot of time watching lions, I guess. No, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> hadn't caught them in the act. You know, for, for a people who have a lot of stories about, like, wrestling lions, they really <laughs> didn't know much about the process there. <laughs> But they thought it was an incredible own because, of course, now that they're they're lions, they can't mate with each other, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm enjoying, well, not only that you are, like, trying to keep your uh, mythology stories, like, play frame friendly, and <laughs> that you're having to put effort into it, because they're also having to make the mythology somewhat, like, uh, a little bit more family friendly, it makes the gods feel ev like, even more petty and childish <laughs> like, yeah. in their back and forth, which I quite enjoy. <laughs> it's more like, like, no, you shut up. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I could tell you a lot of the original stories and you would be like, that seems extremely petty. Go get those wings and I'll tell you about Typhon, Let's our main enemy. <laughs> What's this? Wings. Phoenix ran her hands over them noticing that several pieces were missing, as if someone had ripped them apart. They seem to be man-made. I wonder how they work. If they even work. Our kit improves. Yes! Whoa. They actually work! Sort of. Yay. Yay, Ooh. you have magic the wings. Axe. Also. And an axe. The axe of Atalanta. Deadliest of hunters. Swiftest of heroes. Fallen at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I change her into a lion? Hey. You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. <laughs> I need to stop drinking. <laughs> That's fair. That is a fair critique of you see, Zeus. <laughs> Turning people into things all the time. Turning people into things <laughs> and other stories that are also not play frame friendly. <laughs> I assume we can all assume at any given time that there is a version or variant or additional detail to every single one of these stories that is not play frame friendly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just by default. Yeah. This game does a, a, a deep, considering how family friendly the game is intended and designed to be, this game does a pretty good job of representing Zeus throughout as like the wastrel that he is. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. They censor things, but not to the degree where it's. You, it, they censor things to a degree where you still get the idea that perhaps he is a jerk who is not always 
It's concerned over. with Phoenix consent. Chaos Ash. Mm. No one can handle those bolts but me. Oh, really? But yeah, having these two, having the ongoing narration also be two people who are constantly bickering is a lot of fun, <laughs> but, and I like that a lot. It's like those those two movie reviewers in the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, it is very much like that. I love that. <laughs> I love that for you, Greek mythology. <laughs> lightning bolt? No way! <laughs> Power surged through Phoenix. It was too much for her to bear. <laughs> Bye-bye, mortal. And then, just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, this is just the beginning. I like the fun effect of the god characters having that sort of glittering... Uh, star thing? Yeah, star sort of stuff all over their skin. That's very cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. They also have made a subtle, subtle touch of um, Having plunged the gods, into the like Tartos, the Olympic gods, have golden star death, constellations. Phoenix but emerged, uh, Prometheus is a titan, not oh, an Olympic no. god. Oh, so is his that why blue? blue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good attention Where to detail. I like that. I just thought it was because he was cold. He's very cold and uncomfortable. <laughs> I wouldn't just strap on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius, an inventor named Daedalus, and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk. Ooh, maybe it's cursed. And now, in addition to the wings, we have a little run, which kind of uses the wings, which is very cute. Yeah. And you have your sword for light attacks and your uh, axe for heavy attacks. Yeah. Our kit increases. The, the beginning of the game is doing a whole lot of, uh, <laughs> which is all I've seen. I've only seen the beginning of the game. Is just running around between a, several different places and just getting your full kit in sort of a tutorial fashion. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I really like the uh, simpler stylized look of, to all this as well. Like, uh, I do too. It really grew on me throughout the course of the game. Yeah. And I think they execute on some rather beautiful uh, mounts. Like the horses. Oh, yeah? I mean, spoiler? I don't know. You're going to get mounts eventually. Cool. And I am a huge, like, style queen when it comes to any sort of critter that I'm supposed to ride. It's got to look good. <laughs> yeah. You know, or do lots of murders like both, like Phobos did. Oh, yes. Us. Oh, Phobos. Which he did both, to be fair. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. But they've got some really cool designs and they work especially well, I think, with the thing that they've got going on here where they can do some... S slightly cartoony things. Yeah. But you can have like a beautiful star unicorn and it looks great. I'm yeah. Help. Hold on. Yeah, it's in the animation as well. Like they're the, like this this axe attack sort of stuff He's and like the exaggerated me. hang time and like uh, the way the, the posing with the stretching the legs out and stuff. Like I like that. It's nice uh Mhm. Mm it's just a nice change from what I'm used to seeing from them. Yeah. Yeah, and the characterization of Phoenix with her poses, I think, is something that you're going to enjoy more and more as the game goes on. She has this very, I she has this very charming, like, I am a hero, but also I'm a newbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that vibe. I like that in, in flying out of the, uh, out of that little challenge area, she just, like, falls on her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's nice. That's a nice, fun character. She's trying very hard. Yeah. Come on, you can make it. Yeah, okay. There you go. <laughs> I mean, if you ever can't make it, you can press right on your D-pad and eat a little stamina potion. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Yeah, that's what those blue mushrooms you're, you were collecting are for. Sheep. Hi, sheep. Do sheep have whiskers? Um, Gorgon? you know, I have no idea. I have no idea either. I know that like horses have what's whiskers, that and that's another. Are horses an ungulate? Does ungulate? Ha... No, I think ungulate means you have to have toes. Maybe if I sneak up on. Well. Anyway, <laughs> comments. Please let me know. I'm very curious about whether sheep have whiskers, and I couldn't tell you why. I want to know. They clearly haven't been depicted with whiskers 
on these statues. But then a lot of horses probably wouldn't be either. Yeah, if I were drawing a horse, I would not add the whiskers. I have a friend who does, um, who is like a, a lovely, wonderful artist who at one point they did one of these. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yay. Um, did a mentorship with like a very famous illustrator because at the time they wanted to uh, be an illustrator for uh, basically for like RPG books and stuff like that. And, um, and it's not Lil for anyone who <laughs> knows Lil from the channel. Yeah, no, it is not Lil. Um, but, uh, they were telling me how at one point for this mentorship of theirs, they had to draw a horse and it was the most horrifying thing <laughs> to like get up and close with a horse's mouth. <laughs> Cause I will tell you, they have some wrinkly chins. <laughs> they can't be. Ah, but they were. Heracles, mightiest of mortals, slayer of beasts, defied Hera, and accomplished the impossible wearing those bracers. And now, they belong to Phoenix. Through dumb luck. See, the nice upside of, like, the whole world going to heck like this is all the famous heroes just drop their stuff and you can have it now. Yeah, we are looking into a whole lot of impressive godly kit, actually. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is one after another. Oh, that's a turtle. Oh, hey, turtle. So, Phoenix, after boldly besting the Gorgon that ambushed Heracles, what are you doing there, that thing with your voice? Heracles? Yeah, that. That is how it's supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work, but it's your funeral. Except I can't die. Don't remind me. Zeus, you of all people. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Prometheus is cursed to have his liver eternally. There's no play frame friendly version of this. No. Eternally like ripped out and eaten by an eagle every day and then it regrows so that it happens again the next day and the next yep. day. All because he saw a little fire. Yeah, we'll get into that. We'll get into that story. Um, I have this ability now. I Heck yeah. I could lift the mountain. Throw it. Come on, catch that. Um, okay, throw it better. <laughs> yeah, let's try that again. Get a room. All right, let's... You can get closer, and I... Eh. I seem to recall... There we go. Ah, now there I can, you go. I'm just trying to... Ha. There we nice. go. Nice. Bonk. Good stuff. Woo! <laughs> I love that when you finish an enemy, they all, like, always Team Rocket blast off again. <laughs> That's very satisfying. That's very beautiful. That's a beautiful way of putting it. Uh... Also, that rock you threw fragmented into smaller rocks, so you can get up to more nonsense with them. That's very good. Can mm -hmm. I? Hmm, let's see. Can I? Well, mid not after you blow them up, but that one, that one is still good. Catch. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> it's my first day. Listen, you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Fine. Fine. It's pretty rude of them, honestly. Listen, fellas. Phoenix is a trainee. Take it easy. <laughs> Oh, that's satisfying every time. Hey. Oh, yeah, I don't think they've taught you this, so I'm getting ahead of them, but that little yellow bar underneath their health yeah. is a stun bar, and so when you fill it up, that's when they they get the little stars above their heads. Gotcha, okay, mm -hmm. and the heavy attacks seem to do that. The heavy attacks do it more, throwing rocks at them does it. Wow, you stole from Hermes. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> He's already missing something important. Yeah. Fair, fair. <laughs> it's not the worst thing he's lost. Uh, so this reminds me, because of other Greek mythology games I've played semi-recently, uh, God mm -hmm. of War. Although I guess in that case, that's sort of more Norse mythology. But It is now. It is now, but <laughs> large world turtle. Or, just, or a large turtle. Under witches things. <laughs> I guess that's in multiple mythologies. Uh, I am not actually aware of a giant turtle in Greek mythology. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Again, like the canon is massive. Uh, Could but... just be someone wanted to make a big rock turtle. Yeah. And that's fine. That's totally fine. You don't need an excuse for that. <laughs> uh, 
So my objective's in here, but... I'm coming! How do I get in? But how do you get in, Daniel? Well, I'm gonna solve a puzzle. Real fast-like. Eh. And... There we go. Genius! Yeah, I know, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at this. I'm pretty smart. <laughs> I actually had a lot of trouble with the early puzzles in this game because well, I did not play Breath of the Wild, so I was adapting to some new systems. Oh yeah, they're kind of like, hey, look at us getting better. <laughs> this time we landed. Mm -hmm. They're uh, <laughs> so let me get this they're kind of assuming you know some Breath of the Wild. The yeah. Of to speak with the Oracle, Phoenix is hightailing it after this stranger. Phoenix, truly a good person, sought to help the mysterious stranger. But she never lost sight of the fact that she was getting ever closer to the Temple of Apollo and the solution to the terrible curse inflicted upon her brother and fellow soldiers. Oh, yes. Remind me to erase my own faults <laughs> with the ratio. Zeus, truly a good person, murdered his first wife by getting her to turn into a fly and then ate her. True Wait, story. that's what happened to Venice? <laughs> I thought she was visiting her sister in Babylon. Oops. <laughs> uh, the story behind that um, is, yeah, so his, his first wife before Hera was this titaness named Metis who had helped him become king of the gods. Like, there are several succession stories in Greek myth about basically gods who become king of the gods and then they're really jerks to their kids and then their kids surprise surprise come and like dethrone them and take over uh so zeus does that to his dad and he does it with the help of this titaness metis who is basically like a goddess of wisdom she's incredibly smart and she comes up with this idea that basically helps him uh poison his dad which causes his dad to throw up the other siblings whom he has eaten because that's what that's a thing that fathers do uh and then after you know they go to war and zeus wins and becomes the new king of the gods and he marries metis and right on cue there is a prophecy that metis will uh give birth to a child more powerful than Zeus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just to kind of link our stories together, uh, one version of this is that uh, Prometheus is the one who tells her because Prometheus has um, the power of uh, seeing into the future. Mm. They referenced that at the very, very beginning of yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she's told that her she will bear a child more powerful than Zeus. And Zeus hears about this and is like, oh, oh, no, I don't <laughs> I do not like the sound of this because I took over from my father and he took over from his father. Like there's kind of a pattern here and I do not want it. <laughs> I know what happens next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he challenges her to this shape shifting contest and as part of it um, challenges her to turn into a fly and then he eats her and is like, well, Guess you can't give birth to a more po powerful child anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zeus. Oh, Zeus. Yeah, we're getting a lot of good toys today. Right? Requires more than deft footwork, little one. Let's see if you have control. Who are you? Show yourself! Ooh, a target. Tell you what, everyone, we will shoot the target uh, next time. Maybe Ooh. like Wednesday or something when we come wait, back. Wait, wait. Huh. I, I actually left things mid-story. Okay, well, we can't have that. Finish, <laughs> finish the story while I shoot the target. Well, then the... So the thing is, when Zeus swallowed Metis, she was already pregnant. You can understand why I thought that might be the end of the story. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see. I kind of set you up for that failure. Um, but she was actually already pregnant. And uh, so she's inside his body, and she 
uh, is pregnant with a child and she starts, I don't know how exactly, but she starts forging armor inside his body, which huh. Zeus finds very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> sure. <laughs> As one might. Um, so uh, he is getting these splitting headaches, just hurt like heck. And so he asks Prometheus, again, our friend here, to hit him in the head with a hammer, because that's how you solve a headache. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So uh, Prometheus does it and whacks him in the head, and out of this lump in his head, fully formed, comes the goddess Athena. Oh. So that is how Athena comes to be. Cool. Fully fo- fully grown and wearing <laughs> armor forged by one, her mother inside her father's body. Mythology is weird. That seems like a good place. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I was going to say, like, fully formed, armored, all that. Basically just like our Commander Shepherds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. You could just go and get the thing, I think, though. Oh, let's go that. get the thing. Why not? Reward Also, reward there's an additional thing. It's the only secret I'm aware, I know of. Yes. Because I played this part a while back. And, it, and I've missed. Hang on. <laughs> Actually, I think there's an easier way to do this. I'm making it harder than it needs to be. I, I think you just made it harder. But yeah, I think yeah. it's easier to go the original way. Yeah, I think just shooting over this will also do the job. Here we go. Yep. Bingo bongo. There we are. Also, another thing I've observed is that there are a bunch of different chest opening animations, and I think that's fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> All right, let's go grab the thing. Yes. So the and the impression I'm getting, because uh, I wasn't, and I say impression because I wasn't paying enough attention, is that the uh, lightning bits I'm getting are just giving me more stamina effectively. You know, it's been a while since I played. I don't remember exactly what the lightning does. It improves us in some fashion. It does improve us in some. I think they're upgrades. I think you're going to use them for upgrades. Oh, okay. Eh. These are extremely Zelda puzzles, though. I can so very Zelda. <laughs> if you're not a if, if you're, you're not, not a regular Zelda player, I could see it taking a bit of time to learn the language. Yeah, I was very confused and not really sure where I was supposed to look most of the time. To be fair, unless you're going in expecting Zelda, like to seeing some blocks and some pads to put them on, like I don't think would immediately read as oh, of course this is what I have to do. <laughs> I like that I can fly around the load screens too. That's fun. Mm -hmm. You can even collect those little stars. Ooh. They're not worth much, but it's fun. And it makes <laughs> a nice sound. Armed with the agility of Achilles, the speed of Atalanta, the wits of Odysseus, and the strength of Heracles, Phoenix was ready to face whatever the future had in store. That's it? That's all she has going for her? Fa! Good luck! <laughs> All right, and on this lovely sunrise or set, I'm going to go ahead and call it for today. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you all again. The, the desire to save her. <laughs> okay. And brother, <laughs> this game is going to talk over you a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's already tried to talk over you a whole bunch. <laughs> nah, I just talk over it. I know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see you all later for some more of this. Bye. Bye.